Okay, so this is a really interesting part here because um, the joiner is definitely so done. So yes, I'll show it to the dotted line. A bit more hidden features uh, and we have to actually detail a bit later on. And then this part you can open it. I'll just try to make a line there. So okay, too. So I have a second here. Okay, so that's another line. You will see that, and then you can put toilet paper there. That's good. So you can open up. So that's why I open. So let's look at this window area. So when you draw window area, um, obviously um, it 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 very depends on details how you sort it. So let's draw a little bit larger. Yeah? So we can have a, everyone will have a, a different ideas. Yeah? So let's say windows. Uh, based on our uh, early sketches, we know actually this information there, isn't it? So I'll make it a bit larger so we can see what happened. Okay, so that is sort of um, the window, but at the moment our window is over there, isn't it? Yeah? Okay, so so based on this idea, I will just add it here. Just, just copy them. Okay, so this is our post. It's gliding. So I just stop there, isn't it? Stop. Okay, so that's that's what it looks like. Okay. I just draw it. I will just the yeah, then external cladding, plywood. Do the same plywood, okay. The sucking, okay. Good, so we can't have a good because such a, a small, small area, okay. So, what they do, um, they have a beam directly they connect to there, yeah. Okay, but let's figure out this side first. Um, I want the actual window a flush to the outside, okay? So I want to be more space over there. So what I do in this case, to imagine your window is there, window frame. We just draw like that, yeah? Then I'll make it to window a direct outside. You see? Do you know what I mean? So, and then, Inside is almost like um, you know we have um, these joinery items, yeah. The five hundred. Uh, a bit. It looks like a bit exaggerated. Okay, so I will maybe the steel plate, and then. This is you know the toilet benches, yeah. We do. So so this is a window. But we have a lubber window, see. I designed the lubber window, so I have to actually cut it half there. Yeah? Yeah? So let's go back here. So we'll draw one more. So this is a lubber window. Okay, lubber window is a bit inside, yeah. You know the all the the metal the blade actually in the center, but outside then I can make actually, and you can see here, hmm, over there, okay. So for the planning, uh, we draw like that. But what will happen, um, at the end, it's, imagine this is your wall thickness, okay, wall thickness, and then obviously external cladding, we got a metal, the side will finish there. But we need to actually have a little a steel column here. Okay? Because opening, we need to support it. In like a timber, we need to actually support them. And then on the top, they got a, a beam, I'll just red color for you. Okay. So the beam is actually on the top. The line is not straight. Can you see? It's a meter. They're supporting. And then they, what they do, they fix to the, to the side too. Guess what? 
Okay, so, so when you're drawing, we'll draw the window frame. And this is a fixed glass. Okay, so that size, okay, I think this is a SC1. Let's check it out on our drawings. I think this is better, eh? Yeah, SC2. When you look at this opening, okay, can you see this, that two vertical the line? Yeah? So there is um, a, what do you call, a steel column, two. It has an interlobe cross. Okay, so in this case, door entry area, nintel is just cross because the steel column just right going up and then meet on the top of the beam but I will explain it later so and then Nintel is over for to supporting actually these openings so, okay so we need to read very carefully this one then we'll be able to work it out so based on this one we need the SC um, because this is a wider isn't it at uh, the shot so I have actually SC1 yeah because the shot window isn't it the smaller one so let's look at C1, what is this? Yeah? So when you look at our a chart, SC1 is 120 by 75, okay, by uh, rectangular hollow section, 125 by 75. So what will happen, this size, it's like that, I'll draw this side. Okay, so I'll just draw here. 75, 125, 25. Okay, I'll do this direction. The reason I put here, the, there will be beam is under. Okay, so I'll just want to sit on the top. So this is what I'm going to do. So when you look at this drawing, uh, this is your floor plan. So all the column has a GB1. It's like a beam, you know, ground beam uh, going this side and that direction, see? Yeah? So I want to actually nintel and directly sit on the top of this beam. Okay? So that's the reason actually I'm placing the column. Column here. I'll make it like color. Okay, so there is a column there. Isn't it? To supporting these openings. Okay? Okay. So this will happen actually our um, the front to entry uh, door too. Okay, that's good. So now we got it. Yeah? So we need about 105. One hundred and twenty-five, I'll just allow for space. Uh you can see. I'm just drawing. So just a lot for 125. Okay. Okay, I've got it then. And then 75. So, red color. Make sense? Then I'll draw the windows, yeah? window frame. What I'm going to I'll install window this side, yeah? It's like what we drawn just before. Okay, so window. I want to flush at the outside. So probably about 100 mil. I'm just drawing. Thickness. Uh, this is a bit tricky part, yeah. But we allow for about thirty or forty. Okay, let's allow the forty. So we need to hear too, isn't it? Okay, so there's a window, yeah. I just want to mark them, and then I will just confirm, yeah. Windows. 
so we'll detail it later in but at the moment for floor plan this is enough information for the 20 so this is the um, a the louver door yeah okay and then I want to put outside it's a flush with outside the fixed uh, the glass yeah? so that's what that okay. this is looks like then I'll extend this joiner is just against that part here yeah? so that's all joiner part yeah? so I'll just draw a little bit more you know I me mean? so it's more like a continuous yeah? okay the filling and there's a windows there and then obviously it's the same information we copy to this information on this side too okay so obviously a 20 mil and the metal stud and then good good also we already got this net i'll place them a good size was about um before what was the size 64 mil yeah because this is 75 slightly smaller than okay so that that's about the size of good yeah Oh, I could use the right color, isn't it? Okay, so that is a good. Then they what they did they well together, you know. Just like before. In between. Okay. So that is about the maximum distance they already say, isn't it? This one. Good, let's have a look. Good. Yeah, 1.2 meters. What is saying the distance is maximum is 1.2 here today. Okay, so don't go beyond. Yeah. So so that's what happened here. Okay. Then what we do? We got waterproofings. You know, all the information need to go there. Yeah? Okay. So I'll do just waterproofing. Okay. Then tiles. And also a, a start, do you know what I mean? I try to make the same size, so what I do, I will probably measure from here. Okay, our um, <coughs> start uh, was, uh, how big was it? A 76 mil, wasn't it? Okay, 76. bit of gap there isn't it because of the um, the wall thickness uh, because the column okay then you add uh, all the insulations you can see here uh, you can put it there okay so 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 that's sort of um you know when you do a floor plan uh, it looks like the when you put all the information together okay so basically same as you can see now okay so basically same as this side same as that side we gotta just continue and then stop the exactly same window details over this side too okay so what i do you can design your own bars yeah the shower you can have a water i maybe four a uh, distractions yeah okay so um, sometimes they have a channel in them. okay so if you're not sure what it looks like you just go back to your uh, bathroom have a look what sort of um, a drain system you have yeah so then you can you can use it um, as a 
a base as a base. And also if you want a timber on the top, then draw the timber, a platform, so measure them in. Or even finer, it's up to you. You know, I just want to uh, give a little bit more rooms when you go inside. Well, you can have a little pebble inside, yeah, good for your petals. A bit ouch, though. Okay, and then the bars. Okay, the thickness of metal, maybe 10 mil thickness. Okay, you don't need to measure, isn't it? So if we do the bars top. Made of gold, you can do that too. Okay. Oh, this could be interesting. Maybe we can make it there and be really generous. Eh? Okay. So, this is your very thin a steel blade that comes out. Eh? And this is your a bars. Okay. So, that's your soap holder. Eh? materials okay and then step is going up so 750 so I have to draw the arrow which direction is going okay 30 by 60 then draw so up you put up the, the tile a floor here then you add the tile Okay, so let's look at the tile. You know. So tile, maybe tile is too boring, but it's anyway. But anyway, so we'll have a tile here. Or maybe big, big. Oh, this day actually tile is a giant size. Maybe whole floor is tile. You can do that too. I'll leave it like that. Uh, it's up to your your personal taste. So so that's the basic. Drawn. So you fill up all the information over here, okay? Then later on I'll draw the actual the sections through here. Maybe over here is quite good because we got steps there. So we need to know how we treat actually. You know, it will be a bit complicated. I don't know why I draw like this, but anyway. So what can you do? I have to actually draw. So this is a toilet, hand basin. So we got to observe this is a bath. Oh, we can do actually the mirror. Let's make it the mirror. Or maybe when you're working out the elevation, then we sort it out mirror and also the joinery part, you know, how we'll make it joiner nice looking. Then we're gonna need to store there. We gotta have LED lighting under, maybe bottom. Mm. Okay, so that's all of our options there too. And that area, the steps, oh there's so many things to draw. But anyway. So so there is a, a I just draw by you know the pen, but you have to draw by your pencils. Okay. So obviously, um, I think this is enough information for your draw plan. Just read in conjunction uh, with uh, this engineering drawing we already in our canvas. Okay. So they already engineers uh, calculate all the member sizing. Yeah? Just a matter of how they them together. Just to make sure you need to understand what the system inside, all the different uh, material inside, and you really need to know. Then you'll be able to allow for thickness exactly. Then you can, you know, apply these dimensions there. And also, you need to do little researches. Okay, so, so. When you look at this size, if we type down those size on the internet, it will pop out actually. So it's good. Okay. So that is the basic. And you allow for dimensions. Okay. But I will do the next video.